In the beginning, God created the heavens and He created the earth. He created every living thing upon the earth. Thousands of years later, along comes myself, Ed Waters, and I created Free Circle so I could bring you the fireside. We want to bring you truth with integrity, insight that's right, and stories that matter the most today. So climb on in, buckle up, let's take a ride on the fireside. five o'clock it's live i'm ed your host with free circle fireside i want to invite you over to the website freecircle.website there's a link in the description to the live show over there but you can go to freecircle.website click on the tab that says free circle fireside and you can join us Live on the website, there's a chat that you can discuss things with us. And that chat is brought to you by Discuss. And we would like to welcome you over there. Or you can just join in over here at Spreaker on the live show. That's where we broadcast our show from is Spreaker.com. Great hosting platform, folks. If you're into getting your voice out, starting a podcast, that's the place you want to host your media content because it is reliable and outstanding efforts. So, yeah, they put a lot of effort into keeping your show up and running and everything has always been top notch there so we invite you over Spreaker come on over to the chat and get involved we'd love to hear from you later on in the show we're going to open up the call in line that's 971-533-7805 and you are free to call in and voice your opinion get your voice out there get heard that's what it's about folks We need more people talking, coming together, talking about what is actually on their minds. The thing is, the world is full of anger right now. And the polarized world, (laughs) I was going to say nation, but it is the world right now. You are seeing leverage stacking up. You know, Russia, they flew in some big bombers, nuclear-capable long-range bombers into Venezuela as a show of force. And China is stacking their cards high and showing a little bit of force back in the Asian area, the South China Sea. So there's a lot of tension in the world And people need to start discussing their feelings, their hardships, understanding others, their feelings, and their hardships. We need to start coming together, people. Get over here and start chatting. Let's start talking and let people know how we feel. If you don't want to join my show... Get a show of your own. Because it's important that people know how you feel. So, yeah, you're always welcome to give us an email shout out. You can find us on Twitter. That's our main area of social networking now. We we kind of just concentrate on Twitter basically our our links go out and we do feed other networks but 
If you're trying to contact me, the best way is through Twitter or our direct email. And you can find all of that on the website. There's a contact form that shoots me a notification directly to my personal e-box. So you're always welcome to drop me a line. Let me know what you're thinking about. As always, we have our newsletter and you're welcome to put a shout out to somebody, a birthday, a local event, a social event, you know, anything you'd like others to hear about. As long as it's friendly to all, that's that's what we kind of want. We don't want to stir up any more hate in the world. There's enough of it. So yeah, we can we can all relate to the bad in the world and what we want to do is we want to bring people together to talk about the good and the people helping people and how to bring that mindset back into the world unity as a whole but caring about each individual as a sovereign you know we we all have to work together but we all want to feel equal in value so our thoughts our opinions the way we live our choices they all matter not only to us but the world that surrounds us so people need to get involved it's hard to do I'm just now starting I'm starting to leave the anger that I've felt from the world and try to get involved in understanding the world by addressing issues that relate to the world whether that is through social interaction directly or my family lifestyle it all connects somehow and it all makes everything else either negative or positive so we've got to attach ourselves to either one or the other negative or positive we need more positive <laughs> excuse me now recently we've seen this uh, anger and hostility growing not only in our own government but governments around the world and our civil uprisings are increasing again so that's a dangerous trend that can get out of control and we've got to be aware of that so I invite you to uh, get out and voice your opinion make it known that your voice matters don't be shy because when you shy we can all die <laughs> so don't be shy you gotta get out there address these hard feelings and understand each other that's what that's what the key is right there taking time to consider other people's viewpoints other people's feelings because when we get this uh, feverish pitch that we've got going and there is a polarized uh, divide in our nation so we saw Donald Trump and Nancy Pelosi with Chuck Schumer uh, Mike Pence was kind of setting off to the side just being sort of quiet like he usually is unless he has something to say however uh, Mr. Schumer and uh, Mr. Trump they both got into a pretty heated debate over 
you know, government spending and this border wall budget. So it was disturbing the you know military force got brought up. That that's kind of different. Um, I'm hoping that we can actually drop the baby food and start acting like adults and realize the whole nation is in trouble and we've got to fix it. The only way we're going to fix the problems not only in our nation but around the world is to listen to the problems and we've got big problems. We've got energy crisis, we've got mass population buildup that is causing some unfriendly conditions. So we've got to realize what what we are doing to feed this trend. And it's not pretty. We've got people getting mad, violent. We've got old ways showing up that's not good. And so I am going to open up the Skypey line. It's uh, 971-533-7805 if you'd like to voice in on the topic. Uh, it, it would be okay to go ahead and let's, let's uh, talk, you know. I have some feedback going on. Kind of odd. There we go. Please forgive that. It is live, and that is one of those live things that we deal with. I had something queued in there that startled me. <laughs> so, anyway, what I was saying is I am going to open up the Skypey lines. Don't push the wrong button. Those those startling things happen. So yeah, 971-533-7805. You are welcome to join the live show. Each night, except Friday night, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we open up and... This is our discussion, our personal discussion time. Our morning show is basically meant to try to just throw a little thought out, usually uplifting or, you know, thought-provoking. But that's a morning show, and it's uh, pre-recorded. Here on the live show, however, you can tell it, it has hiccups once in a while. I'm never scripted. It always shoot from the hip and... Go with the current events and how you actually feel about the issues of the day. Because that's when the authenticity comes out in people. When you start getting scripted news sources, well, we see what happens. All of the news agencies tend to be touting the same thing. Well, when you shoot from the hip, and you're allowed to do non-scripted verbalization of your thought, news spreads, and interaction happens. And that's what we're trying to get out of people. Get out, get involved. Hey, you don't have to agree with me, you don't have to agree with anybody, but you should try to open up your own self and be willing to look beyond your own knowledge, your own understanding, and try to see from other people's perspective. That's when we truly grow within ourselves. And the anger and violence that we are locking down to nowadays it's it's historical what's going to happen you know it's already starting to happen 
people look at you and say you're well let's let's put it this way George Bush said it the best either you're with us or you're against us and that's the attitude they put a uh mark on you they say well he's that way so he's against us without even realizing they're wrong so you get into these scenarios where people start clicking up and you get that clan mentality going and it's not good You know, revolutions start usually in beer beer parlors or private dens and these seeds of deceit and discontent are sown within these private atmospheres and then the opinionated seeds are spread and cast amongst others And then those seeds start to spread. When people hear these seeds of discontent and they see that people are wrong, they're afraid to stand up and say, no, you're a wrong man and you need to correct yourself. Don't be afraid to do that, my friends. If you are in a group, let's put this down. If you're, say, in a group of constitutional study and the people that you are studying with profess that they uphold the Constitution, but at the same time they are uh, censoring people on their Facebook group and stuff like that, They are violating the very constitution that they are trying to say that they are protecting and defending. See, this is the problem. You say you're going to defend something, but only to your own likeness. Only your your liking. See, you're missing the concept of the constitution in the first place. The ability to express. So, we are losing sight of what is important. Freedom of expression in any form is a must in an open and free society. To be happy and live in a harmonious manner, you have to be able to be honest, open, non-judgmental but yet stern about morality there's a lot going on in the world I invite you to join us let's start talking about these issues you can always join us 5 o'clock each evening except Friday don't be shy get involved we'd love to hear from you I want to know what you think I don't care if you're rich, you're poor, you know, your race. I don't care. I don't care where you're from. You live on this planet. You're a human being. And your voice matters. We all matter. It's a delight to hear from others. I like diversity. You know, I'm not always right. And I do mess up quite a bit. And I think about those things I mess up about. It keeps you on a level filled. So let's wake up. Let's start talking. Don't judge people. We all mess up in life. And until we can come together and understand each other, We'll never understand why we screwed up in the first place. And that's important to understand. If somebody's willing to come out of that 
and open up and address these hurts and these boundaries that were crossed to help heal society, boy, people should flock to that. People should, you know, coalesce and come together and really take heed to what people are saying. The truth is starting to set people free. It's time to open up to one another. Stop judging people. You're you're a sinner too. You know, so Jesus walked with the sinners to teach the sinners. There's no sense in saving somebody that thinks they're already saved. Now is there? So, anyway, that's enough for today. I'm Ed, and thank you for joining us. Join us next time, that's for sure. Well, that's it for another Free Circle Fireside. Thank you for joining us. You can find us on the web at freecircle.website. You can join in on the live shows or leave a message and we'll get your voice out over the message. The call in line is 971-533-7805. Join Free Circle, get your voice out, and thank you for joining the fireside. Ed, Free Circle, out.